All right. This is another mini lesson on chapter 12, which is uh, the most recent chapter in your memory. So we're not going to, it's not going to be a very long mini lesson. Okay. This is how you find the surface area and volume of various solids. All right. There are several formulas from this section. As you can see, prisms, cylinders, uh, spheres, cones, and pyramids. And you can pause this and look at this, but basically what this means is you got the lateral area, which is basically the areas of the sides. Okay, if you're talking about a cylinder, it's the area of the curvy part, the curvy sides, not the circle bases. If you're talking about a cone, it's the area of the conish part, not the circle base. And if you're talking about the lateral area of the pyramids, it's the triangle sides. Okay, the rest of this is pretty straightforward. The total area is the total surface area, the covering of the shape. So that's what you get when you're talking about total area. And then V represents the volume of the shape. This is most recent in your memory. This problem should not be um, all that difficult. So basically, we're going to look at two questions. We're going to look at this shape, pencil shape, submarine, whatever you want to call it. We're going to find its surface area first. We're going to look at the exact same shape and then find its volume. All right. So to find its surface area, you got to think about what you have. Okay. You got basically half a sphere. You got the lateral area of a cylinder, and then you got the lateral area of a cone. And realize you don't have the bases. These bases here and here, they're not on the surface. So when I'm talking about surface area, I don't need to include those in my formulas. Okay. The half of a sphere, half of the surface area of a sphere is half of 4 pi r squared. The lateral area of a cylinder is 2 pi r times the height, and the lateral area of a cone is pi times the radius times the slant height. I actually have everything I need except for the slant height. And that's actually not too bad if you look at this problem. The radius is 6. The radius of this cone is 6 because the radius of the sphere and the cylinder are 6. So I got a 6, 8 blank cone. Well, that's going to be 10. If you, if you wanted to do Pythagorean theorem, you know, call this part L. You could do 6 squared plus 8 squared equals slant height squared. Solve that. You would just end up with L is 10, but you should recognize 6, 8, 10 at this point. Uh, in geometry. So therefore, the only thing I didn't have, but now that I do, is 10. So now I just plug everything in and then put it all together. So pi RL, pi radius is 6, slant height is 10, gives me 60 pi. 2 pi R, 2 pi times 6 times the height of the cylinder, which is 12. 1 half, 4 pi r squared, the radius is 6. Half of 4 pi 6 squared is half of 36 times 4. So it's going to give you, what, 72 pi, I believe? So yeah, so we'll say 72 pi. 2 times 6 times 12 is actually going to be 144 pi. And again, I don't multiply the pi. If I was going to multiply 2 times 6 times 12 in my calculator, I would just multiply 2, 6, 2 times pi times 6 times 12. I want to just multiply 2 times 6 times 12, and then I'd put the pi on later. Now, the total surface area is simply just the combination of these three. So 72 plus 144 plus 60, which gives you 276 pi. And since we're talking about surface area, you would call it units squared. And that would be the surface area. Okay. Let's contrast that now with the same exact question. And let's try to find the volume. Okay. So the volume is again, I got half a sphere. I have an entire cylinder. Okay. Again, I don't have the bases, but I'm not concerned with that when I'm talking about volume. Okay. And then I got a cone. Okay. So I got the volume of half a sphere. So that's half. The volume of a sphere, which we just saw, 4 thirds pi r cubed. The volume of the cylinder is the area of the base, which is pi r squared, because it's a circle times the height. And then the area of a cone is 1 third area of the base, pi r squared times the height. I actually have everything that I need, because I'm not looking for, I don't need the slant height, so I don't need the fact that the slant height is 10, because that's only when I'm talking about surface area, and everything else is there for me. So I'm just going to plug in the parts that I have. 
this is going to be 1 half times 4 thirds pi 6 cubed. And I'll do that in my calculus. So 0 0.5 times 4 divided by 3 in parentheses times 6 to the third. Gives me 144. I didn't touch the pi, but I'll put it back on now. Here, it's pi 6 squared times the height 12. So it's going to be 36 times 12 times pi, which gives me 432 pi. And then lastly, I got one-third, because it's a cone. I'm not talking about area of the base times the height. It's one-third pi 6 squared times the height of the cone, which in this case is 8. Right? Slant height of the cone was 10, which is what I used to find the surface area. Now I need the height, the altitude, which is 8. So I get 6 squared times 8 times one-third, which gives me 96 pi. Combining all of these into one big volume, you get 144 plus 432 plus 96, gives me my total surface area, sorry, total volume, which is 672, and it's volume, so you're talking about cubic units that fit inside, okay? Hopefully this helps, hopefully volume and surface area are fresh in your memory. If you had questions, you know, maybe go back and pause, go back and pause the formulas so that you could have a better idea. Um, of those formulas if you want to write those down and take some notes as you do your packet. Hope this helps and I hope you do better on your final because of this.